Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Next up, we have the One-Handed Operation Plus. Now, you're probably wondering why you need another one-handed operation when you've already got the one-handed mode here on the Galaxy S20 series and it was on the S10 series as well. Well, actually in here we have even more customization. And I think this is probably one of my favorite good lock features because it allows you to add these little handles here that you can see at the sides to perform various functions. So to really be one-handed, you can set the bar on either side here to do certain things such as back key, recent key, and the home key. So I know that if I pull this down, it's going to go home. I know that if I pull it to the left, it's going to go back. And if I pull it to the up position here, it's going to go to my recents. Now you can also set these to do pretty much anything you want. You can close apps, you can go to the app screen, you can do all these different features here. And I think it's really quite a nice little function to have. Personally, for one handed mode, I think if you can get to the home recent and go back with just one hand. You don't need to try and stretch down to the bottom here to actually access stuff. So we'll go through those in a short while. We can also enable a long swipe here. So we even get additional options depending on the length of our swipe. I haven't got that turned on personally at the moment, but you can, as you can see, add another set of actions to a long swipe. And here we can set the alignment here to be different depending on which side of the phone we're on. So if we've got, I don't know, it's good for people with disabilities if they have struggles on certain, you know, with one hand more than the other, then you could make the size of the handle bigger on one side compared to the other. And again, with the position as well. So here we can set app exceptions whether we choose to not have these enabled in certain applications, that's quite useful if you find yourself backing out of an application accidentally, if there's one that you have to swipe around a lot frequently. We can turn on or off the animation that you saw as I used the swipe. We can enable quick actions before we release our finger from the screen. We can allow it to work in landscape mode or not. We can show persistent notification, so you can turn this on and off quickly. We can change the position of the sliders here. If the keyboard opens up, they should shift up. And we can also hide them on the lock screen when your phone is locked. There's no need to have them on particularly, unless you're launching an application, I suppose. But for what I'm using it for, that doesn't need to be on. And we can even hide this when the panel, quick settings panel is open. So here we can set the width of when it is activated. Now I've got mine set quite thin because I just want to be able to swipe from the side of the phone so I know that I'm actually doing the correct thing. We can set the distance so you can see the arrow on the left here, how far you actually have to swipe before the gesture is activated. And we can set a vibration to occur when we do that function. So don't really need one too big for that. So that's all the operations you can set. So if I just quickly show you how it works. So if I'm in an application, I can quickly go back. I can go to my recents and I can go home. So again, if I just Leave it here, you can see on the right hand side here, back. And if I want to go to my recents, or if I want to go back home. So this is really, truly a one handed way to operate. Because when you're holding it in one hand, you can't really stretch your thumb down to the home button, the back or the recents. So I really think that this is the best solution for that. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in the next one.